I want to focus on in this session <clears throat> this subject <laughs> in pursuit of wisdom part 1 write this down please read this together with me remember solomon one of the wisest man ever live proverbs 19:8 kjv we read together he that gets he that gets it wisdom love his own soul now you may say what is a soul god breathed his breath into a man his nostril man become a living soul living being exists if you love life you will get wisdom he that keep its understanding shall find good no everybody love good they go car shopping they want a good car they go house shopping they want a good house you go wife shopping you want a good wife he that love his soul himself get wisdom i want to make this statement he that keep it understanding that is very important In other words, he give you I want to give you the meaning of the word quickly. Listen carefully. First word it is knowledge. Now, what is knowledge? Knowledge is information original information from the source that's knowledge the second is understanding what it mean understanding is comprehension be able to comprehend a thing third is wisdom mean application you apply what you understand you apply the information you have that's wisdom wisdom is application write this down please proverbs 47 the beginning of wisdom is to get wisdom Everything has a beginning to start. If you want it, you got to get it. Though it costs you all that you get. Get understanding. All of these books on the bookshelf. Many folk go for a hamburger or a steak dinner or lobster dinner to eat before they read a book all the knowledge is is in the book all the wisdom is in the book in other words the bible the holy bible it is a library contain 66 book book of wisdom wow 
The beginning of wisdom is to get it. Though it costs you everything, you get it. Remember Jesus Christ. I want you to see where he used the word understanding in the revelation of the kingdom. Jesus had a seminar with a student, disciple. The word disciple means student. He had the seminar in a parabolic language, a style of teaching when you hide the truth from the listeners. When he hide the truth from the listeners, that they can't, they can't discover it when they really, they can discover it when they're ready. Do you not know that the purpose of a parable is not to tell the truth, it is to hide the truth. Why? Nothing is yours until you discover it. Everybody wants something, but nothing is yours until you have discovered for yourself. <laughs> wow. Jesus met with his student in a seminar. A disciple is not a religious word. It is an academic word. Means learner, student. Wow. For 1800 years, Islam, Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism had been rejecting the only message Jesus preached for 1800 years. Write this down, Matthew 13, 18, KJV 19. Hear ye therefore the parable of the soul. Now he began to explain the truth. Now you got to find it. Religion is dangerous because it keeps you away from the kingdom. Matthew 13, 19. When anyone, anyone, anyone hears it, the word or the message of the kingdom, the devil don't mind you hearing about the cross, the blood, Calvary, resurrection. You don't mind that you hear it, but he is concerned when you hear the word kingdom. Why? Because he was evicted from a kingdom. He came down as a lightning flash. Wow. Anyone hears the message of the kingdom and understand it not. They don't get no information on it. They understand it not. Then come the devil, the wicked one, to snatch that message you've heard in your heart. There are many teaching on YouTube from global and other kingdom teachers. And you run away from that wisdom. But when you hear it, the devil come to take it away from you. That which you have already heard. Wow. Now, Jesus' first inaugurate message was repent. Notice, repent. Repent don't mean going in a church service, going down when a preacher preached to all the call and kneel and say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart and forgive me of a sinner and save me. That is not repentance. 
That's a ritual. That by Billy Sunday and Billy Graham. Created by them. Now, what is repentance? Repentance is a change. Complete change of heart and mind. Jesus said, change your mind. You're born in democracy. You grew up in democracy. And you still have that democracy mentality. Now you just change it. Why? Repent for the kingdom. God's government. Now, what is a kingdom? A kingdom is a government led by Jesus Christ. The kingdom have arrived. The kingdom is right here today. Christianity postponed the kingdom unto a latter time or a time after life. But the kingdom is now. The Pharisee and religious leaders of that day did not understand about the kingdom just like today religious leaders. They preach every other thing but not the thing that what Jesus preached. You got to preach what he preached, the kingdom. They did not understand the kingdom and they asked Jesus, when will the kingdom come? Question. Jesus said, the kingdom will come here, there, or look lowest here and lowest there. For the kingdom of God is within you. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. 